Today I'm going to review Funnel Mail Suite. This is Brendan Macy's latest product release. It's releasing on the 9th of April 2021. You're here with the School of Affiliates. I'm Charlie Bradford. If you're new to affiliate marketing or you're looking to build a profitable and sustainable affiliate marketing business, then please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell because I put videos out every single week all around product reviews and affiliate marketing. So, what are we going to cover in this review? We're going to cover what is Funnel Mail Suite, what is it proposing that it does, what is the software all about, we're going to go over the sales page, um, the stuff it's talking about, the, the, the promises that it's going to make, and we're going to see whether it lives up to those promises. We're going to talk about the cost and the one-time offers. Um, we're going to have a look inside the members area, have a look at the software and see how good it actually is. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on Funnel Mail Suite, and I'm going to tell you whether I think you should buy this product or not. So first off, what is Funnel Mail Suite? Well, we're on the sales page here and we're going to have a look. So it's promising to create unlimited funnels, send unlimited emails for unlimited profit. So it's basically a funnel builder and an email marketing software rolled into one. It's heavily promoting the fact that it's going to replace your Aweber um, and your ClickFunnels account. So those, again, are email marketing software and your funnel building software. Essential tools for your affiliate marketing business. Um, and if it can replace them and put them into one, that wouldn't be the first software that's done that. There are other softwares about that combine those two things. GetResponse is a great example of that. GetResponse is an email automation or marketing software, and they have uh, a platform in there to build funnels within the, the software itself. So that is essentially what it is. It's, it's saying it's, there's going to be no monthly fee, so it's going to be a one-time fee straight away. Obviously, we haven't looked at the cost yet, but any software like this that is promising that much um, and is going to be a one-time fee, you always need to be wary. If it's a reputable company with a, a proven track record, then one-time fees are okay. But if it's a brand new software like this, then I'm always going to be wary about paying one-time fees because running these sorts of softwares are very expensive. And that's why these big companies like ClickFunnels and Aweber charge monthly subscriptions because it costs them money to keep the software up to date, to keep compliant with the laws and regulations. That stuff costs a lot of money. So what is it going to talk about in here? There's a couple of things I want to cover in this sales page some of the things that it's going to promise the first part is as i said it's making a comparison against click funnels and aweber so it's saying that it's going to be a much cheaper option uh, and obviously click funnels is not a cheap bit of software aweber does have a freemium version where i believe you can have up to 500 subscribers and it doesn't cost you anything but obviously as that list grows it's going to start charging you a monthly fee as almost all email automation softwares do. And you can see, you know, it's comparing the prices. Um, and these are two of the big names in those fields of software. Again, it's it's hitting those those notes of paying once and never pay again. And, you know, you just got to use your common sense with this. You know, it may not be that that is the case, but always if I see it's a, it's a one-time fee for lifetime access, especially for a software that's promising to be a funnel builder and an email marketing software with unlimited amounts of funnels and emails, then the, I'm expecting that price to be extremely high to get lifetime access because, again, like I said, it costs a lot of money to maintain these sorts of software. So we're going to go into some of the features now, the funnel features. It's saying modern fill, one-click autoresponder sync, integrated with many chat and push notifications, traffic referrals, fully customization of pages we're going to have a look at this inside the software shortly so we'll see whether that is true email features again unlimited subscribers high open rates and deliverability well i can't see how they can promise that because there's a huge amount involved with email marketing and if you want to find out how to stop your emails going to spam folder i have done a video on that and i'll put a link at the top of the page so feel free to go and hit that and go and check that out but it's not as simple as just using a really good piece of software. It's all about how you write the emails. There's a lot involved and, and I can't see how they can promise that. Increased clicks and increased profits. Well, from emails, that again is down to how you how you write your email copy um, and it's not down to the software that's actually gonna increase your click-through rates. And unlimited everything 
you know, again, they're, they're giving you unlimited everything for one-time price, lifetime access. Now we scroll down a bit further and here we go with some of the revenue screenshots. Make your wallet fat, save more at the same time. Now these are income screenshots that are completely irrelevant because there's no information of where these screenshots come from or how it's been made. Uh, and I'm almost certain it hasn't been made by using uh, Funnel Mail Suite software. Again, some more screenshots here. And here we go, we're, we're further down the page and it's giving you a figure of everything you're getting today is over $5,000 worth. Um, and it would usually cost you $197 a month and they're going to sell it to you for $16.93, one-time price, lifetime access. That is ringing big alarm bells for me, and I hope it is with you as well, because for $16, or just under $17, for a software that's going to build your funnels and complete all of your email marketing and automation for you, and it's unlimited, I can't see how they can do it at that price and maintain the software to a higher level. But next... We're going to jump inside. Let's go and have a look inside the software itself. And we're going to have a look. So it, may, it may be good, um, but we're going to go and find out. Okay, we're over inside the members area. This is the dashboard. And in here, you've got your funnels, elite funnels. You can create newsletters. You've got tutorials in here, which I noticed there isn't any tutorials available. It may be because it's pre-released, but we're only a day before. I'm recording this video on the 8th, so we're only a day before release, and there's no tutorial videos in there. I hope they get them, them done. These are the, the one-time offers. You've got done for you, which um, is done for you walkthroughs. I don't know any of the costs for these upsells are not available at the minute, and I'm not sure exactly what this done for you is going to be. Life... Uh, limitless sequences, where it's saying everything's unlimited anyway, and then limited tra uh, limitless traffic. From looking at Brendan's other products, um, that limitless traffic is going to be some sort of uh, connection to social media. So let's go in. We can go and create a new funnel, and let's go and have a look. So this is our, our new funnel, and it, at the minute it's got two templates in here that you can choose from. We can't actually preview the templates, and... You can see from scrolling down, list, there's, there's actually nowhere to edit those templates at all. So whatever it's saying on this screen, we'll go and have a look in a minute. O on this funnel page, we can't edit it. So how can you customise that, your own offers and your own products? It, it, it doesn't look particularly good to me. It's a big disadvantage. We're going to give it a name. You can put your affiliate link in here. Um, you can change this just put this to one your name uh, then you can put a picture of yourself you can do this mini chat script in here and push notifications and then this is really surprising to me um, you've got connect your autoresponder and the top one on the list is Aweber so their biggest selling point on that sales page was the fact that it's cheaper than Aweber and they're telling you to connect an autoresponder um, and we'll look into the, the email market inside of this in a second to find out what's going on but we don't have an autoresponder because they've told us we don't need one so we can click on that and we're going to save and publish so we can go and find that now and we can go and have a look let's go and see what the page actually looks like and you can see that this is I mean this has all been pre-generated and there's this we, we're not able to change any of this so if you've got an offer that you're promoting and you want to create a, a landing page then you can't do it and you can see as well the url at the top here it's got a pop-up in there as well and all of this could be completely irrelevant to the offer that you're promoting and you can't change it and and the url incansoft.com so we can't connect a custom domain to this software so if you've got if you're trying to build a personal brand and build some some rapport and, and a reputation with your leads and customers, you're not going to be able to do that from here. And there's another really big issue with that is that as more and more people use this software, then because you're all using the same domain name, and I'm, I'm going to imagine that the emails are going to be sent from this same domain, this could cause really bad issues. One with email deliverability, and two with with this could get blacklisted. This URL could get blacklisted very, very easily depending on what people are using it for. Uh, and the fact that you can't adapt to this, you're going to look exactly the same as every other person using this software. So this is going to cause real major issues further down the line. 
because you can't connect your own personal domains uh, that's a, a really big no-no there um, and something straight away that's you know uh, it's not good at all another thing that I've noticed on this uh, landing page here is it's not GDPR compliant there, there's no uh, tick box to be GDPR compliant you have to have a, a tick box um, for people to to, to tick and I'm sure you've seen these on landing pages yourself so when you put your email in you, you have to tick that box to agree to receive um, marketing emails from this certain company or person and that's not on here and there's nowhere to add it so that's a, another big no-no there then once you get through as well there's going to be thank you page there's, there's nowhere to even choose this this is exactly the same so you can see that, that I can't I can't change this thank you page or or any I can't do anything with it all I can do is go and have a look at it um, and this is just sending you on to whatever offer they want to send you on to and I imagine this is going to be Brendan Macy's some one of Brendan Macy's products we'll click on the link and see what it takes us through to yeah so it's taken us through to one of Brendan Macy's other products and that is it I, I can't see how you can change any of that so the funnel builder straight away, not very good at all, guys. We're going to move on to the, the autoresponder. So we've got an autoresponder in here, and we can add an autoresponder. And again, this is just going to be creating an email. So you, you can choose what list you want it to go out of. You can put your subject in here, and then you're going to do the release date. So you want this to go out on the first day. You're going to put you know whatever you want in here, and you're going to save that. And then anyone in this connected to this funnel, the test funnel, once they put their email address in there, this should send the emails off. But I've tested this previously. I'm not going to do it on the camera now, but I've tested this. I've put my email address into that funnel, um, and I've set up the email autoresponder beforehand, and I've, I'm still yet to receive an email from this. So that feature is not working. Again, I think it's heavily based towards you connecting your autoresponder on the landing page. So you're going to connect Aweber or something along those lines or get response, which they're saying on the on the sales page that you don't need then you've got broadcasts and this is going to be if you create a broadcast this is going to go out to your list so you're going to pick a, a list which is here to send it to and you're going to send a broadcast email to um, whoever you've got in that list so whether it's 100 500 1000 subscribers whatever it may be you're going to send a broadcast to them again the the issue with this is it's, it's all coming you haven't put you know, this is not coming from a custom email address. This is all coming from their software, and that's going to get blacklisted very, very quickly because the people that are going to be buying this, you know, they're going to be sending spam emails and stuff like that, and, and your emails are definitely going to go to spam. So on the sales page, as we saw, they're saying get better deliverability. You, you are certainly not going to get that using this method of sending emails. Another issue that I found as well with the lists to get your to get your list you have to go into the leads find the funnel that you have you have to download you need to download the leads out of here you can see there's none in there but you need to download the leads out of there and then upload them into your list so they're saying on the sales page again they were saying seamless um, uploading of contacts but it doesn't actually l tie everything in together from the funnels to to your list that you're creating and um, whereas with a, an email autoresponder it will do all of that seamlessly it will do all of that automatically and tie it all into where you want it to be this is making it a lot more difficult and I tried uploading a list previously and that didn't work either so that is the funnels and the email marketing. Both of those look pretty terrible to me. So we've gone through what funnel mail suite is. We've gone over the sales page. We now know the upfront cost is just under $17. We're not sure on the upsells yet of what the costs are, but again, they're saying these traffic solutions and stuff um, and from previous experience I don't think that's going to be much good we've had a look inside the members there we looked at the funnel building um, and that's pretty awful you can't adapt any of the, the funnels yourself so if you're promoting a product that doesn't tie in with the with the copy they've already got on that funnel you're in big trouble it's not GDPR compliant there's a whole host of issues there including there's no custom domains um, and those domains are going to get blacklisted very very quickly We've gone through the email marketing side and there's a lot of issues there as well. So my thoughts on Final Mail Suite, I think it's pretty clear what my thoughts are. This product is 
a complete waste of time. I would not recommend that you waste your money on this. It's not going to help you. If you're looking for cheap options, I know how it is when you're starting your affiliate marketing journey, you're trying to keep your costs down. So you look at products like this to, to get, you know, you think for $16 you can afford to pay that and use that to build your funnels and, and create your email marketing. But there are much better options out there with free or freemium models where you can get started for free you can get free trials um you know like i said with aweber there's a, a free version that gives you up to 500 subscribers um and there's some funnel building softwares out there as well that allow those free trials or or, or very low cost alternatives this is not the right option definitely not so steer well clear um, if you've enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button like i said i put videos out like this every single week and um, i'm just here to help you guys build your affiliate marketing business and if you want to learn how to build a profitable and sustainable affiliate marketing business there is a link in the description below this video please hit that link go and check out the training inside there because that's going to show you how to build it the right way and how to build funnels the right way and create proper email marketing campaigns using the right software and tools thanks for watching and i'll see you next time